Downtown Ace Hardware, and I'm here with this week's Project of the Week. We're talking about a common problem during earthquakes in your home, and that's your water heater. If your water heater is not properly secured during an earthquake, and it could fall over, res resulting in a, an explosion or a fire hazard if the gas lines break or the electrical wires break, as well as potential flooding. So you want to make sure that you are prepared and that your water heater is prepared. If your water heater does not have two straps across it, like this picture, then you are not properly prepared for an earthquake. You can come down to your local Ace Hardware store and this little kit right here sells for just about $20. It's really simple installation. It comes with the straps that you use as well as all the hardware. It just takes a few minutes to install. You want to make sure you're mounting it into a stud or into the masonry. If you have an insulation blanket on your water heater, which hopefully everyone does for energy conservation, you need to be sure and take off that blanket before you put on the straps. They need to be directly on the water heater. Now, in addition to that, you want to check and make sure that your gas lines are of the corrugated or flexible type because the hard gas lines, even if your water heater is strapped, the hard gas, rigid gas lines can burst and cause an explosion. So you want to change out to the corrugated version. Lastly, you want to make sure you know where your gas and water shutoff valves are. The gas shutoff should look like this. This is in the off position currently. It would normally be in the on position like this, and as soon as you know that you have a gas issue, you would turn it this way to shut off your gas. Similarly, with your water line, it will be like this in the on position, and you will want to turn it like this in the off position. Some older homes might require a tool for shutoff of water or gas. This is a common tool, it's X tool, it has different sizes on it that you might use to shut off your gas or water or perhaps you just need a crescent wrench. In any case, you want to make sure that the tool is at the spot of the shutoff so you're not having to look for it during an emergency.